How do you hire personnel, whether for part-time or full-time? What are the things you look out for? What, take us through the process of hiring. Okay, um, for hiring, I, okay, we, we send out, um, what is it called? Flyers. Not flyers, okay, we put on social media, advertise, tell friends, broadcast and all of that. And then when people submit their CV, we do the interview. But when I'm, when I'm looking for people, I'm not looking for, I have first class in something. Some. <laughs> That's the contrarian in you at Because work it doesn't work. As far as I'm concerned, we've taken a lot of very, as in all the first class Academically people. Academically brilliant exactly, people. Exactly, and then it's just all books and they cannot translate. You get, and then you so get, for you, the grade is not so important. It's not so important, it's the person. So that's why I like meeting uh, the people I want to employ. Okay, like um, recently we were trying to employ site supervisors and then, you know, I kept collecting the CVs and then my, for me, it starts from the CV. Once I go through your CV, your write-ups, or when you talk to me on the phone. And sometimes I specifically tell people to call me because I want to I just want to get something from you. I remember somebody calling me and then kept doing sa 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 for me. I said, it shows that you're not smart because you spoke to me. You should know that this is a lady. And then you continued sa sa. Okay, should I come, sir? I said, okay. You know, from that, I mean, I've interviewed you. Mm. <laughs> Don't even bother to come. Mm. You know, so that's I like meeting people. So at the end so of when, the day, when you go through the CV, what are the things you look out for? You know, funny, I don't even look at, um, I don't look at what you got from school, oh. I just, number one, look at, okay. I look at um, the bio data, your age the and all of that. The history of your life, where you're coming <laughs> from. And then I... Where you've been. Uh, and then I check, um, okay, maybe your work experience, places you've been. I like it when, peop when um, people write CVs more like um okay like i was writing cv for my sister and i said tell them even things that are not necessarily work like she belongs to some groups like red like cross like some volunteer yeah work. because that might just be it for for you i remember mm. a friend of mine that worked with me she just came to work with me for some time because she was idle and then she wanted to do something and then when she, she went for this job interview and she just wrote um volunteering at homecraft and that was what got her the job that's quite insightful so, so some of these community work um, so it's part of your cv because you're doing something centers. and then i look at another thing interesting thing that i look at is that i look at the time you finish school okay. and then to the time you do the next job so i wonder what have you been doing in the, the space gaps. of you know in that gap what were you doing so you must be able to fill it in for me i don't want to see empty space so because it tells me that um, maybe you need this job now because you are broke or you need um, a quick fix you know so <laughs> It's, so for you, is the person behind the degrees, the, person, the certificates, the person. and the journey of the person? It's where the person. Been, Richard what Branson wasn't done. the most intelligent. He wasn't even Among that the uh, average at all. He was, <laughs> but yet, he's smart. Nah, you know, he can be smart. Professors. You know, so that's it. Uh,